to its class change into the Dually Squelchers in Splatoon 2 and beyond, there was the Dual Squelcher, a weapon of the shooter class. No dual reticles and no dodge rolls. Its painting range is just under 5 units and has a medium high fire rate, the exact same as the splatter shot. For most opponents it's a 4 shot kill, however for those wearing 3 mains or more of defense up it reaches a 5 shot kill. The base kit for this weapon is Splat Bomb and Echo Locator, with light depletion a combo it shares with the NZAP-85 and regular Hydra Splatling. The custom Dual Squelcher comes with Squid Beacon and Killer Whale, which it has in common with the sploosh matic Don't you love it when you already record like two matches and your microphone was unplugged the entire time? Big Brain Plays by yours truly. I found the name for this series that we're playing. I'm gonna call it Kit Carnage. But basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play each of the kits like I did last time and kind of compare them. It completely changes the way that you play them. Last time, we played the Junior. So, one kit has Splat Bomb and Bubbler, the other had Disruptor and Echo Locator. And one of these is substantially better than the other, and I don't think that is even a competition. Oh, I miss this stage so much. This is the real Hammerhead Bridge. This would be a great map to play NZAP on. The NZAP has the fastest run speed out of the shooter class in the entire game. The game doesn't tell you that, you just have to figure that out on your own, I guess. Boom! And now I actually have range. I can actually, like, hit people. Another one. Oh! Thank you, teammate, for saving my ass. Come on. I almost got somebody. Bye! I'm... Actually, I need to be careful when I use the grates, because I can't swim or recover ink. So there's actually costs and benefits, depending on what strategy you use. Wow! Man, that's crazy! Sure. You. Gotcha! Okay, so I think he's dead. He is not. But now he is. Well, hello! Oh, that's such a good overhead view. Behold! A weapon with decent range! Please don't kill me. I'd rather not. Oh, hi! That was not too bad. I would not lie to you. Not too bad. Not too bad. Then again, it's not hard to do better than last time. I think that by far, this is one of the most creative maps in the entire series. Most of the Splatoon maps take place in like urban or metropolitan environments, but this one is very unique. It has its own flavor. There is no hiding. Oh. Move KFC! It will be a good day when I get to play the Splattershot Pro. And that one has like three different kits as well. I believe it has Suction Bomb Rush. But please believe that it will be a good day. Okay, fuck off. I mean, I would have done the same thing. In fact, I did. Oh no, your precious bubbler is gone. What will you do? Oh no, you die. That sucks. See, everything was great until you had to get involved. What's really cool is that these gates were not lowered 
at the beginning of the match. And it's so much fun. You. Uh huh. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do it justice. Oh, I want that shirt so badly. That is one thing on my goal list. I can have my beautiful combo back. I'm just happy that we're not playing on Piranha Pit anymore. I swear, every time I would boot up this game, it is on there. And yes, I'm fully aware, I said Piranha Plant like five different times. When I was editing, I was visibly cringing. You're brave. Remember kids, don't get too ambitious. Haha! <gasps> See, that's what I love about this map. He didn't even know I was there. No matter where you are, someone will find you. Why is our entire team huddled over here? Oh no! Honestly, it would've been smarter if I just swam there instead. I am kind of being converted to liking Echo Locator, because unlike the Junior, this one has the range to make use of it. Come on! I love doing that. I love threading the needle on this map. Oh shit, I'm out. Run. No! That was just awful. Okay, so not my best game. I want to do a much better job of showing off the gate mechanic. Oh! How are you already over here? When I do get my beloved Octo Shot back, it has Ink Zuka, so I can do that. Now I can't wait to use that one. Nice. Echo Locator! Oh, there's three of them! Ooh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I die. Bye. Even in Splatoon 1, the splash matic still haunts me. Did we do a bit better this time? No. Alright, it is about that time. This one plays completely differently. Admittedly, I do not like Squid Beacon. I've never been a fan. Not to say it's not good, I just can't use it. I can't bomb around corners, but I do have Killer Whale. Let's put a beacon down here. Why not? Now I actually have to look around the map for good places to put my beacons. That's a dynamo! Get down from there. Hello? He's out! I'm really starting to feel the limitations of this weapon now. There is no escape. Yeah, that's a no. I know full well there's fuck all I can do about that. So he's back that way. Aha, get out of here. No! Bye. I don't know. Do you think we won? Man, if I lost that, oh my gosh. That was a close one. I don't have a bomb anymore. If you find the rare skilled dynamo player, tremble. Mm, I cannot wait till this weapon's over with. I'm already so done with it. I'm trying to make it work, guys. I just, I am not using Killer Whale very well at all. See, was a double strike really necessary? Calm down, he's already dead. Hmm. There. Get down from there. And that got absolutely no one. Oh, I got him. Oh, it's a sprinkler. I heard the hit sound effect and I actually got excited. Jeez, and I thought I was playing the junior bad. 
Ugh. I am not good with Squid Beacon at all. I have no bomb. That's like the only... But I'm not a- yeah, see I can just run out the way. I'm not a fan of Killer Whale, admittedly. Not for me, personally. I'm trying my best, you guys. I'm- I'm trying. It doesn't help that it's been on Hammerhead Bridge every time I pick this weapon. <laughs> End my suffering. Um, you, get down from there. That was awful. That was horrible. Yeah, that sounds about right. I might as well have just ran around the whole map and held ZR for the whole time. Do we get Camp Triggerfish? Fuck you! The stages rotate in 10 minutes. I'm doing all that I can, guys. Close one. Let's put a beak in there, because why not? Okay. I, I didn't even get the kill. Oh my gosh. How did I miss that many shots? He was right in front of me. Uh, I know that the kit shouldn't affect my main weapon's aim at all, but just using this kit drains me to the point so much, I can't even land decent shots. It just feels wrong. And see, I can't even throw a bomb back over there. Like, yeah, see? Like, he, he can. I can. Whoever that was, thank you. I owe you one. Because I was not winning that fight. With how today's been going, I was not winning that. I got an idea. Put a beacon there. Maybe then I can help my team. Come on, die. Get him. I got a kill! I think I'm at my wit's end with this thing. I think I'm done. I'm out.